I started doing palmistry years ago, and I re I remember uh, in the nineteen early late nineteen uh, sixties and early nineteen seventies, there was a secondhand bookstore in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and I went there and I I bought the old Cairo books, and it was by uh, Count Lewis Harmon. He had written a lot of books on palmistry. He wrote Language of the Hand palmistry for all, and, and so forth and so on. And he would describe the lines and shapes of the hands of uh, people and what they meant, uh, what the, each finger had a name of a planet, and it meant certain things, and it depended on how long the finger was, whether the finger was dominant, and uh, uh, the, they were, learned, uh, they were uh, named after the various planets, Mercury, Jupiter, uh, the sun finger, which w it was called Apollo the sun, and and uh, Saturn for the middle finger, and so forth. And I started giving out uh, flyers whenever I I was out with the public. And the first flyers I gave out uh, were actually on pictures of the hand. And and I had given out thousands and thousands of these flyers. I would put them on a table and. People would grab them because it was basically a, a map of the hand. It was, and and uh, when Cairo had written a book, Language of the Hand, and, and meaning you can trace somebody's life uh, through the lines of, of uh, the, the hand. And uh, as the lines of the hand moved and changed, so did the life change. And in the Orient, people were really into palmistry. It was a very important thing to them. And even this day in, uh, in the 2016, uh, in a lot of cultures, the palmistry is a big thing. It's not like the boardwalk Mama Laguches that, uh, you know, uh, the gypsy witches type of thing. It was really a, a study that was very important. When I uh, taught uh, palmistry classes at Rowan College, uh, uh, people would come out from East India and places like that that uh, were really students of the hand and students of uh, chironogamy and chiromancy. And uh, chironogamy is the shape of the fingers and the hands and the type of hands you have, and chiromancy was, uh, uh, was the study of the lines. Uh, now, this, these are the, the charts that I gave out. Uh, and it would have my name on it, and it would be a map of the hand. Uh, now, just for the sake of the study, I, I drew some things in here, and uh, I just want to go over some of them. Like uh, the index finger here is Jupiter, and again, it relates to people born under the sign of a, a Gemini and also, also Virgo. And uh, the middle finger is uh, Saturn, and that, that's people, uh, January are Capricorn people, and, and February are Aquarius people, are affected by Saturn. So when you see a real prominence in, the thing, uh, in that particular finger, you, you know about what sign it also equals. And here's your uh, index finger, your ring finger, and it's called Apollo, which is the sun. Uh, which relates to the first house of fire, which is Leo, and again Aquarius. See, Aquarius uh, is a, uh, affects the, both Capricorn uh, and, and, uh, and Aquarius also affects Palo or the sun. And then the pinky is Mercury, which is June or Gemini and, and September or Virgo. Uh, where where Jupiter is is March or Pisces and also Sagittarius, so each each uh, finger relates to to different things. And the thumb, the top phalanx of the thumb, uh, is uh, willpower, and the bottom part is logic, uh, how you think. So depending on which proportion you have, if you see it at the top phalanges. Uh, is very large. The person's a very stubborn person, and they won't give in very easily to other people. 
Now, you have three bracelets at the bottom of the wrist, which the Greeks called health, wealth, and happiness. And I put that down, health, wealth, and happiness. And if uh, one of the bracelets fell into an arc, uh, arced up in the top, the uh, witch doctor or the practitioner or the, would, would advise somebody, uh, if particularly if it was a woman, that uh, giving birth may be a problem. Uh, because uh, the health was was sensitive, uh, particularly in younger years. So uh, th this is a, a map of the hand. It, it really shows like the ring of uh, uh, Solomon, which uh, which can encircle uh, Jupiter, which showed that somebody was very intuitive. Uh, the ring of Saturn, if it has it, that means a person uh, is a student, but also they tend to isolate. Uh, and and uh, the uh, arch around the uh, the thumb is the Mount of Venus, uh, which is, of course, uh, relates to people born under the sign of May or Taurus and, and, and October or Libra people. And uh, th basically, I, I wanted to go into another thing, is that there are uh, four really types of hands. Now, in the books, they'll tell you that there are seven types of hands. They'll say the elemental hand, and uh, they'll say uh, uh, the conical hand, and the spatulate hand, and, and so forth and so on. But I found basically that there's just four types of hands. And in, in uh, this book I found, uh, The Complete Fortune Teller by Mark Lemenzema, I think, L-E-M-E-N, EZMA, he had a good description of it. One is the earth hand, which, where the fingers, the hands kind of, the palms square, and the fingers are short and square, and that's a very practical hand. And uh, uh, p people born under the sign of Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo uh, uh, would influence the, this type of hand, which is marked as A. And then B would be uh, the ear hand. Now, that means long fingers on a more or less square palm. It looks like the fingers are, are much larger than the palm. Where on the earth hand, they're almost like equal, equal. Uh, uh, on the ear hand, they're like large. And uh, that, that would mean that uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra would uh, affect this person's life. And ear uh, hands are people that like to read and study. The earth hand is kind of like the practical person, uh, the one that likes to do things and, and keep busy. And then you have the fire hand, which is like a long palm and short fingers. It's almost like the fingers are, are stuck on a, a, a kind of big hand. Now, I myself, I have a fire hand. This is what it looks like. It's a it's a long palm and, and, and shorter fingers. And, and that, that when you see that, it's a fire hand. And that means the person likes to experience life and do many things, that their experience is important to them. And it's affected by Aries. People could affect the life, Leo and Sagittarius. So it drew, a fire hand draws fire signs into your life. And earth... Uh, and it draws earth uh, people into your life, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And and then you have a water hand, which is a big palm with big fingers. It's kind of like they both look pretty big proportionately. And that's Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio people uh, would come into the life. Now, this is a picture of, the, of a book that um, I got those diagrams on, and, and it's a good book. I read a lot of different books on uh, the psychic, and, and this, this person went through a lot of, a lot of things about the hand and so forth. Uh, it, it always pays to study, <laughs> study books. This was a, a pretty good book. Uh, but I'm going to be going into other things right now, too, uh, on the hand. But uh, there's two stu studies to the hand. One is... Uh, chiromancy, and the other is chironogamy, which is the study of the shape of the fingers, the planets, and I'm going to go into that further.